Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel as we are again taking on my career mode with Ken Daniels. As Baron Blade and I will be going to New Mexico, I believe. Mexico? New Mexico? I don't know. We're going somewhere in Mexico to take on one of their most popular superstars down there. El Mago, I believe that's what they said in the last episode. Apparently this is chapter 3. I didn't know we passed chapter 2. I assumed that was raw, but... We're just gonna fly by with these My Career Mode episodes, you know what I mean. But regardless of all that, ladies and gentlemen, before we head down to Mexico, I wanna make sure that you guys know that if you are enjoying the series, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, follow me on my social media platforms at SinsHQ. And with that being said, actually, before we go, I assume there's two options, Baron Blade and Inspect. Uh, ooh, we could do that. We could, nah, let's talk to Baron Blade. This is huge that we're already expanding internationally. Our plan to take it to Triple H and WWE is working faster than expected. We or me? You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm the star in this, okay? All right, let's talk about that. I have to admit, I doubted you a little bit when you, were first to when you first told me about all this, but so far, it's all coming together like you said it would. See? You just needed to trust me. He seems very sus. I know, so got any tips about wrestling in Mexico? It's not New Mexico. It's Mexico. All right, gotcha. Study up on some Lucha Libre footage. As you know, it's a completely different style. And if you accidentally drink the water there, make sure you wear brown tights. Ooh. Ooh, all right. It's kind of a knocker. All right. That's a knocker on uh, Mexico right there, but we're going to inspect the windshield. You already know what time it is for... I assume it's the Bug Buster? The van I live in? I don't know. Let's check it out. Is that a chunk of my skin? Gross. Okay, leave it broken. Repa I'm gonna repair it. Why the hell will I leave it broken? Stupid? Come on. Wakey, wakey, earthquakey. We're having an earthquake? No, no, no. I'm just playing the wrestler wake up game, man. Relax. You might want to choose a less terrifying wrestler name next time. Yeah, noted. We made it. Already? It really didn't seem like we were driving two days. Gee, I wonder why. It's because you've been asleep the entire two days. Hey, I need my genius promoter rest. Uh huh. How do you say I need a shower in Spanish? Necesita un shower? I don't know. I don't remember the word for shower. <laughs> You're a lot of help. Did you see that? What? That masked guy who attacked me, he's here. I just saw him. I think you're seeing things from being awake for so long. I'm telling you, that was him. How about you get some rest before your big match tonight? We need to keep all our momentum going. Can't have any setbacks due to hallucinations. You know. That wasn't a hallucination. All right. Wait, stop, pull over! What, what is it? Did you see him? No, I want to try some authentic Mexican street corn. You're the worst. Is this your champ? Is this your warrior? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He's so talented. He'd even drop that thing on top of his head. What is that? What is that? Anyways, <laughs> okay. Oh, he has two reversals. Sick. Oh God. Okay. Get him to red health and hit him with a strike while in the ring. Okay. Since I assume we're both low overalls, I assume uh, this might be easy. But then again, I said it would be easy to get yellow head damage or whatever whatever yellow damage I needed on. Uh... Okay. <laughs> First it was Baron. Now we're gonna get uh, commentary from some some generic. Oh God, he's hulking up. Oh no! Gotcha. So uh, what 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 was I saying? I, every time, dude. Every time I try to speak. Every single time I try to say something, they talk over me. <laughs> Why? 
You know what? Forget it. I already lost my train of thought. <laughs> Whatever. Ken Down's about to go sky high, baby. Okay, never mind. I thought I had. All right, you need to calm down. We got Mike Tyson from 2K16 in Mexico as well. I, th I assumed we took him with us. This is a. Uh... Oh, okay, I'm about to say, he didn't lose a single reversal, he has the auto. Oh my goodness, why? Going for the cover after that whack-ass move. Oh, okay, I'm about to say. El Mago, that's his name, El Mago. Esta lucha ha sido increíble. Oof. Okay, that's a move that you can pin off of, okay? But I'm not gonna sell it, though. I ain't selling that move. Gonna flip over into the DDT. You already know what time. See if I have a... Oh, I do. Oh. I mean, connected. Come on now. Alright, so he's really giving me the, uh, the work. I didn't expect that. Flat DDT. And the ropes, okay. I, for I completely forgot my signatures. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I need to unlock them. Great. Baron Blade. They mentioned my boy Baron Blade. I still need. Dude. My stamina is so low, and he's not even halfway. To orange. I'm seriously gonna give a match. Okay, all right. Feels a little bit slower, but I consider that because of the uh, low overalls that we both have. He has a comeback. Oh, tranquilo! <laughs> oh man. I wonder who's who was the over uh the overall the uh voiceover for this at uh 2k studios or wherever they recorded this wait is he heavy because i keep on doing the same move why am i doing the same move oh Oh my god, we're really gonna do this. Damn, that was quick. Now, do you believe me? I guess so. Look, I don't know why you're doing this, but I am not gonna let you try to ruin my career ever again lo siento soy un fan y solo quería atención perdóname por favor what's he saying did he admit to everything no he's a fan he's just craving attention he's a copycat he's not the same guy let him go Gracias, señor. Oye, ¿puedo tener un autógrafo? I'm gonna... Uh, I'm, not good. I'm not a heel in real life. Come on. Yes, please. You have a marker. You're a better man than I am. Don't do that again buzz gracias well your big mexico debut didn't go quite as planned but the match was great up until the end and any publicity is good publicity right you've still got the buzz going <laughs> yeah i guess 
Let's take a shower. You mean Ducha? I looked it up. So this is what you had to build for our big rematch, right? What is it, a tetanus tornado match? Yep, it's a beauty, don't you think? I'd say it's more beast than beauty. Well, its official name is the Scrap Trap. Not only are we gonna have our biggest streaming audience yet, we're doing it in one of WWE's most iconic venues. It's like we're invading their territory. Man, I wish I could see the look on Triple H's face when he sees this. Where did this even come from? Where did you dig this up? All over. I salvaged it from other wrestling promotions, a junkyard scrap. That section is from WCW's Triple Cage. That is from an ECW cage, and I believe that side used to be an old prison fence. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? I think a better name would be Death Trap. This violates every health code known to mankind. <laughs> yeah, it does. I saw what happened in Mexico. Too bad some idiot had to go and ruin a great match. That is absolutely true, my dude. It's okay. Any publicity is good publicity, right? <laughs> yes, Baron. <laughs> he gets it. So how was Japan? Japan was great. I was free to be myself, and the fans really respected that. So I'm gonna try that from now on here in the U.S. Well, I'm glad that you uh, that you respect the Japanese culture, my my dude, Cole Quinn. No more black hole Cole. Too bad. I kind of liked it. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was terrible. I think I have a long future ahead of you being yourself as Cole Quinn. Yeah, assuming I survived the scrap trap tonight. Yeah, me too. I know, good luck to both of us on that. Is this scrap trap cage safe? No, but that's the appeal of it. And you know what I always say? And give me city. Oh, controversy creates cash. That's a Eric Bischoff, I believe, quote. I do always say that, but that's not the catchphrase I was referring to. Oh, this aim ballot? Yes, that's the one. Nah, that's what I'm talking about, Baron. It's just the things are coming real well for us. Oh, what the hell did I just say? It's just that things are really going well for us. I mean, look where we are. In just a couple months, we've gone from a high school gym to a famous WWE venue. I wouldn't want all that to get derailed by an injury. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Have you had a tetanus shot recently? Oh my god, this steel cage looks absolutely disgusting. <laughs> oh, it's just a simple win by pin four submission. Okay, cool. All right, this is a uh... This man grabbed all sorts of What what is that on top? Oh. Okay. After the pay-per-view, be sure to check out our new website where you can purchase all kinds of BCW swag, including oh, my new favorite item, a BCW lunchbox, which is an homage to when our locker room was in an actual school cafeteria. This dude in his goddamn lunchboxes. The New Day lunchbox that I'm still can't get over. And now he has a BCW lunchbox. This this dude grabbed so much scrap just for this one match. The impact is uh, not there, but we will get there. We'll get there. Okay, that's a reversal. I'm gonna let him do some work on me. Everyone again for joining us tonight for our second ever streaming pay-per-view live from WWE's old stomping ground. I assume this is the ECW One Night Stand 2006 arena, but they don't want to mention it for some reason. Well, then again, ECW wasn't really owned by WWE until we like 2006, so. We call this the so. Trap because it was scrapped together from junkyard metal and old steel cages from other oh God. <laughs> and because it rhymes. Oh, I'm about to hook up, brother. Soul kick. Into the, into the steel cage. Oh no! Whiplash neckbreaker. 
Mexico, BCW is truly becoming a phenomenon. Yeah. Oh god, he's getting out. He's getting out. Oh. oh no, please. Mexico. He ba he barely kicked me. Why did I sell that? Some issues with our pay-per-view stream. It might even be down completely. If anyone can still hear this, we apologize, and we're trying to find out what's going on. Oh, thank you for the notifications, Baron. I gotta let him do some work on me because I barely have any reversals. We're gonna have an actual match, ladies and gentlemen. Another over the head belly to belly they move. Shut it down! Damn it! Triple H. It had to be. <laughs> Stop the match. There's still the live crowd here, and maybe we can release the video later. Damn it! Oh, Triple H, the hacker. Oh, he oh he really sold that knee. In honor of tonight's Pick him up and drop him the brain buster. All fans in the first three rows were given free tetanus shots. <laughs> what a what a treat. Oh god, he's reversing my Death Valley bomb. Oh, but he caught me into the neck breaker. That's his signature for some reason. Oh no. This is the match you've all been waiting nope. for. Buzz versus Cole Quinn in the first ever Scrub Trap match. He's really so in this. thing looks dangerous. That's because it is. Okay, so we both have no reversals. And he's able to catch me first into the Northern Light Suplex. The fact that we're broadcasting from the of Monday Night Raw shows oh. that BCW is making huge strides and we couldn't have done it without your support. Seriously, this, is... this venue wasn't cheap. It cost about 50 high school gyms. This is from the uh, Manhattan Center? Apparently, I think so. we're having some issues with our pay-per-view stream. It might even be down completely. If anyone could still hear this, we apologize and we're trying to find out what's going on. The old stomping grounds of Monday Night Raw, huh? We're actually having a match, which is uh quite shocking. Shut it down! Damn it! Triple H! It had to be! These two guys are here killing each other, and thanks to him, no one's seeing it! No okay, he has reversal. The match. There's still the live crowd here, and maybe we can release the video later. Damn it! Chop. Another chop. Off the ropes goes Cole Quinn. Down. Over. Oh, come on. Wait, why can't I use my possum uh, payback? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, I switched just in case he pins me. All right, I'm fine. And because it rides. Pinfall or submit? He's gonna go for it again? Nope. Belly to belly. Everyone again for joining us tonight for our second ever streaming pay-per-view. Wait, can I? I know this is one of the features. Oh. <laughs> All right. This is uh that that was a mistake. Tonight's scrap trap match. All fans All right. in the first three rows were given free tetanus shots. Alright, Cole Quinn's actually giving me this work and I'm not really appreciative about this. He's, re he's really going for these pins. Be sure to check out our new website where you can purchase all kinds of B. I can't use my possum for some reason, which is weird. CW lunchbox, which is an homage to when our locker room was in an actual school cafeteria. You know, you talk about your roster, Baron. I don't see anyone else but me and Cole Quinn. And Cole Quinn's actually working on my legs for some reason. Like, he's just targeting straight up my legs. My inner thigh. Well, actually, my outsider. My outsider. My outer thigh. He's seriously giving me this work, and I'm not too sure why. Oh, 
this Wait, what? Is the match you've all been waiting for. Buzz versus Cole Quinn in the you know what? Cole, I'm sick of sick of these games. If you think this thing looks dangerous, that's because it is. Yo, what? I've never seen that knee drop in my entire life of playing 2K. It's pretty the cool, actually. That we're broadcasting from the former home of Monday Night Raw shows that BCW Give him this combination knee strike and we into the pile driver, and it's over. Seriously, After this, it's over. This venue isn't cheap. It cost about 50 high school gyms. And that's ball game. One, two, three. Guys, that truly topped anything you've ever done before. But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. No one watching online got to see how it ended. Did the site crash or something? What happened? No. We were taken down intentionally. By Triple H. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun <laughs> on purchasing a couple. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? I mean... We hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by selling him used jet skis. <sighs> Come on. Invading NXT. Invading NXT. Totally <laughs> on the same page as Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so what do we have to lose, right? And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. That was the plan. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby.